Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of 6th of October, God be blessing. I understand things are getting delayed a little bit because of the season which is going on right now. Holiday season. So, we will be back on track and giving you and sending you daily Vardhans on the same day. So, let's go ahead. Let's understand what the Supreme Father have to say over here. He wants us to bring about a change in attitude of souls around the world. But that can only happen when we change our attitude. Not an easy process, but yes, it is possible. So let's see what does he have to say. God says in the blessing, May you be an image of support for the world and transform the world with your elevated vision and attitude. See, attitude is a combination of how we perceive a situation or a person. Two people given the same kind of situation can have different attitude towards it. Some people can blame, complain about it. Some people can say, oh yes, I found a solution for this. This is wonderful. I can go ahead with this. It's all about what energy are you carrying with yourself at that point of time. And two people, one person who's positive today can be a little negative tomorrow about the same situation. It's the attitude. But then attitude can also be changed and made permanent over a period of time. So God says, you children are images of support for all the souls of the world. Because being ancestral souls, the ones who had landed on this earth long back from the supreme abode, we become the ancestral souls. Now, how are you an ancestral soul or are you an ancestral soul? You can find out once you do the same in the course at Brahma Kumaris. Nevertheless, we'll go ahead. The atmosphere of the world is being transformed with your elevated attitude. The souls of the world as well as matter are all becoming pure through your pure vision. Now if we ourselves have got impure vision, automatically souls who are already living in impurity will feel that it is not possible to have a pure vision, pure attitude towards anything or anyone. So it starts with us. God says the world is changing through your vision. This world is becoming an elevated world through your elevated actions. Only you children wear a crown of such responsibility and become crowned in the future. Now the one who takes the responsibility becomes somebody who leads others. Now the responsibility over here which one God wants us to take is to change the attitude of self. It's not like you know in the world when somebody says oh you have to do all this so as to earn money you have to charge a little bit more you have to lie a little bit to get something in life or you have to fake it till you make it you see these are different attitudes these words have come because of an attitude in life which has been prolonged and thought prolonged in a manner in which people now believe that that is the way to live life God here is trying, trying to change that attitude, but it has to first come into thoughts. And yes, maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible to get things done without lying. Maybe it's possible to be straightforward. Maybe it's possible to be truthful to the self and to others and get things done. When we have complete faith in the Supreme Creator who's guiding us, who's making us do things, and he can change the situations, he can change the people around us, provided our intention and attitude is pure. That's the power, that's what he wants us to do. He says, you take one step, I'll take thousands of steps along with you. But if you take two steps back, then you're alone. As simple as that. So what is this attitude? How do you change yourself? Is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. See, changing in this world, which is old world, a little kind of a impure world or negative or dangerous world, People might say, no, no, I don't want to change because people will take me for a ride. If I'm being too truthful, people will take me for a ride. If I'm being too open, people will take me for a ride. God says, I am there. I am the ocean of truth. When I am there, then how can you say that the world, in this world for you to survive, you have to be false, you have to be, uh, you don't have to trust anybody, you don't have to work along with anybody, you cannot trust anyone. God says, with me, I'll show you the light. I'll show you the people whom you can trust, who are honest, who are good and you can still survive in this world of darkness. So he's spreading the light. What do we want to spread is what is our decision. Nobody else's. So for more details, do join Pramakumari's 70 course nearby your house somewhere in your own city. Vedasom Shanti.